Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I I've never done this, bro. Yeah. I've never done this in my life. So this shit is like, <laughs> nigga, this shit new as fuck. You watching PTM Hub, man? Ordinary Visions. I'm up next. Uh, PTM Hub. I kind of gave myself the name for uh, uh, PTM stands for pennies to millions. When I came up with that, I kind of just incorporated it with my, my name is Hudson, so I kind of just incorporated with that. Uh, static Shock and Rocket Power. I was player, like, truthfully. Uh, I made good, like, I, I had cool grades. My grades wasn't terrible, but I wasn't no, like, no Excel or you know, crazy shit. Probably C's, B's, C's, probably. Uh, I was probably like, 16, 17 maybe. And my partner had a setup in his room, like in the closet. And uh, my nigga Mikhail. And uh shit. He learned how to work with the garage like guitar hero. What's that shit? Guitar uh garage man. <laughs> and um Pro Tools and shit. And after that, um, she was a rap. I say my shit pretty unique. Uh, just in terms of how like everybody else rap for real, like huh? my music kinda like I feel I get more love out of state, you know, than like I do in state. Just like catering to the fans that, you know, I have. But I for surely say unique, one on one. That was the first big feature I ever had for real, so a nigga had kinda worked um, to get it. And then when I ended up getting it, shit being a thugs was turning about that shit. And then um I just had the song at first, and then we ended up flying to Atlanta and shooting a video and shit. The red camera, my nigga Multimedia, I shot that. We went up, that shit was lit. Justin, the father, I think truthfully, that's probably like the biggest blessing I've had so far in terms of like me mentally growing and understanding like my purpose and things being bigger than me and what I see them to be. Uh, the adjustment part though, I, I say uh, it wasn't too hard. It did take a couple of little changes though, in terms of just me and how I move, but um, I don't think it was too hard. I done had a lot of lows. I'd probably say like, in terms of like losses that I took, I'll probably say this year to be the biggest. I lost my blood brother this year. Nigga done went to jail, took losses. Like, Nigga done seen everything this year. Lost partners this year. Nowadays, a nigga really don't get the time to like really cope about this shit. Something happened and you know, something else happened. And it's like you never really get to cope with it. You just kind of find a way to turn your feelings off without it hurting you as more, but you should a nigga cry in you a long time, you for surely cry when you by yourself and shit. Me and crew make songs and shit, but there was a lot of things, you know, like people didn't see that, you know, that niggas would go through and talk about and discuss and shit. Truthfully, like if I had to say like the music, you know, that was something that we both was gifted and crafted at, but I feel like the conversations we really had, you know, like talking about rare shit was, was the ones that struck the most. My take on politics and rap is like, that shit be lame, but it's necessary. Like, what that nigga Babyface Ray say? That shit lame, but it's necessary. Like, you be needing that shit. Keep things along. I, if I could put myself in there, I'd say me for sure, for one. Grease, Krug, shit, Murdy. I for surely say Meek is a. Was it like a big motivation to me making music and just growing up and shit? So it was something that kind of just stuck with me. I got a project coming out December 23rd, 100%. Feel me? Um, I had dropped like <clears throat> three other projects 25%, 50%, 75%. Um, just the last one. It took kind of longer than expected, but you know, everything on there I for surely is, I for surely believe is, is 100% of me and what I want to put out. Now, it's nine songs. No collabs on there, it's all me.
Feel we made it out. One time in a lifetime, we gotta make it count. Tolerance high, need a phone, no, I 